Overnight, U.S. Army Private Travis King returning to the U.S. after spending two months detained in North Korea. Back in July, the 23-year-old was released from a South Korean prison where he had served time for assault. He then joined a tour of the DMZ seen here dressed in black. King then willingly bolted into North Korea where he was detained. 70 days later, North Korea announced King had been found guilty of illegally intruding into its territory and expelled him. The North Koreans almost certainly asked King about his army unit, its capabilities, anything they could find out about the military mission of the U.S. in South Korea. But in the end, they seemed to feel that keeping him was less valuable than the diplomatic and public relations advantages of letting him go. U.S. officials say North Korea got nothing in return for King's release. King's mother said to be overjoyed to speak to her son yesterday. She had previously raised concerns about his mental health after his cousin's death in February. Now, in the U.S., experts say King will likely be discharged from the Army. I think we'll, we'll see an administrative discharge rather than pursuing a lengthy judicial process. Meanwhile, the U.S. has issued a rare statement of gratitude for the Chinese government who, along with Sweden, helped facilitate King's departure from North Korea. M. Nguyen, ABC News, Washington.